DJ Torres tried to get it out to Adams on the fast break. Crosses up Adams for Dotson on the lob and it's in! Oh my goodness! This is the LIU Post Game Recap. Welcome to the LIU Post Game Recap. He's Carlo Valadares and I'm Stephanie Rule. We've got a jam-packed show for you today full of highlights, results, and an inside look at the first ever home meet for the LA Post fencing team. But first, let's get started on the hardwood, as last Saturday the Pioneers played host to Dowling. And Stephanie, if our opening was any indication, the game turned into a dunking contest featuring the Pioneers. Let's check it out. We pick things up with the Pioneers ahead 27 to 17. Off of a Tristan Brown turnover, Okosa Mandaway Boonham will throw down the fast break slam to give LAU a 12 point lead. Fast forward to the second half of action as LAU leads 49 to 37. It's PJ Torres finding Okosa on the outlet and he'll throw this one down with authority. Pioneers up by 14 and they have this one well in hand. Now 80 to 66. Torres misses the three pointer, but the Pioneers clean the glass and Greg Dotson delivers the final nail in the coffin with a slam dunk. Pioneers go on to win the game 82 to 68. Dotson led the team with 20 points. Torres, Okosa, and Isaiah Stokely combined for 42 points off the bench for the green and gold as they improved to 11 and 10 on the season. Now for the highlights of the earlier action featuring the women's team. Pioneers with the ball at the start, and it's Jalen Brown firing a three, but she misses off the rebound. It's Ashley Castle delivering the goods with a three-point basket. Now 3-3, three, three, some good passing around the top of the arc, and the ball finds Chelsea Williams, and she drains the triple to make it 6-3 Pioneers. Later in the first half, the Pioneers up by 13, make it 16 as Castle drains another three ball as she had five in the first half. Now to the second half, Dowling making a bit of a comeback as the Pioneers lead by seven. But again, great rebounding off the miss by Castle, and there's your second chance points as William knocks down the trifecta. The Pioneers take this one 76-62 over the Golden Lions as Williams and Castle and Niaja Davis combine for 58 points for the win. LAU Post improves to 9-4 in conference play with the victory. Saturday also featured action for the LAU Post wrestling, swimming, and track and field teams. Down in North Carolina, the wrestling squad split a double header with Anderson and Ferrum. Heavyweight James Lewison scored the match winning pinfall as the Pioneers knocked off the Trojans of Anderson by a score of 20 to 18. But LU Post could not capitalize on the momentum as they were defeated 25 to 19 by Ferrum in the finale of the afternoon. The indoor track and field team competed at the Ramapo Indoor Select at the Armory on Saturday as well. The men's team placed 14th and the women's team finished 13th. Mike Scott won the mile with a time of 4 minutes and 22.11 seconds, while the Pioneers 4x400 relay took home gold as well. And the women's swim team took home 5 victories at the NYU Invitational, with senior Carolyn Rademacher winning 2 individual events to lead the Pioneers. Sunday featured the first ever home meet for the LIU Post fencing team, and my co-anchor Stephanie Rule was there to capture the historic morning. I'm here at the Pratt Recreation Center on the campus of LAU Post for the first ever women's fencing home duel. This is the first time in LAU Post history that the women have seen action at home. I mean, we've been working really hard since August, and uh, you know, we were all nervous and stuff like that. But I mean, we came out and we did really good. So, and take me through a match. Like, what do you guys do to prepare to like get things? Well, yeah. Before we usually like we fix the weapons, make sure everything's working. Um, you know, we usually don't practice before, and then the morning of, we always run around the track. You know, we talk about like different moves that we're gonna do. Um, we stretch, and you know, we just give each other encouragement. Yeah. So, the women secured their 11 to 5 victory today over Stony Brook. The team continues their inaugural season as they prepare for the Northeast Regionals next month. Now, let's go back to the hardwood where this past Wednesday, the basketball teams hosted Mercy. The women's team would play the Mavericks first, and this game got out of hand quickly. Let's check out the highlights. Mercy actually led this contest 2-0 in the early going, but that did not last, as Jalen Brown goes downtown for the three-pointer, and Pioneers lead it 3-2. Now it's 5-2 to two and it's time for Chelsea Williams to get involved. She hits a three to give the Pioneers a six-point lead. 
Later in the first, it's 39 to 18 as Quanisha Ratley passes to Kalinka D. Roche and her layup goes high and off the glass and in. It would be a 41-21 Pioneers lead at the half. Second half now and it's 62 to 44 and Ratley finds Williams on the wing for a three ball and she could hit that shot with her eyes closed. The Pioneers would go on to win 72 to 59 for their third straight victory. Williams leads with a 23 points and 8 assists, while Jalen Brown scored 9 points. The Pioneers dominated in all facets of the contest, shooting 40% from the floor and out-rebounding the Mavericks 49 to 39. To the nightcap of the doubleheader now featuring the men's basketball team. Pioneers up 27 to 12 in the first half and PJ Torres will find Greg Dotson for the dunk. It's a 17 point lead for LIU post. On the next play, it's Torres and Dotson on a two on one. When I say alley, you say oops and it's 31 to 12. Now 31 to 16. Torres misses a three, but oh my goodness, Charles McCain flies through the air for a left handed slam. Check out the crowd behind the hoop. They love it. Now second half of action and it's a 30 point lead for the Pioneers who break the press as Torres lobs it up to Nick Khan. Feel the wrath, Mercy College. The Pioneers are now just having some fun with the Rock. Now 82 to 54 and it's time for fan favorite Sean Dillon to drain the three point shot. LU Post blows out the Mavericks 85 to 57 as Dotson scores 18 and Torres puts up 16. Dylan Burns with 11 points and 6 assists as well, and the Pioneers move on to an even 7-7 record in conference. Thursday night, the Pioneers wrestling team celebrated Military and Veterans Appreciation Night at the Pratt Recreation Center with a 26-16 victory over East Stroudsburg. Joe Calderon earned a pinfall at 133 pounds, and the Pioneers recorded 6 total match victories in the meet. It was also senior night, and Christy Iorio recorded a victory at 197 pounds for the Pioneers. Now, let's check out the action this weekend for your Pioneers. Today, the LU Post indoor track teams will compete at the Malloy Invitational out at St. Anthony's High School. Then on Saturday, the basketball teams travel to Spark Hill to face St. Thomas Aquinas College in an ECC doubleheader. And can you believe it? Lacrosse season is here. The men's lacrosse team plays Queens University of Charlotte in Maryland on Saturday as well. That'll about do it for this week's edition of the LAU Post Game Recap. I'm Carlo Valadares. And I'm Stephanie Rule, and we'll see you next time. And for all you lovebirds out there, happy Valentine's Day.